Practicality, you stand covered head to toe in mud. At some point, one of your tennis shoes went missing, and at this point, the other one is completely useless, so you take it off and pitch it to the sidelines. Your teammates trot from behind you, breathing heavily, also masked in mud, to join you in overlooking a pit of shallow water filled with ice obscuring your path towards the finish line. The heat of the humid August day develops you, and the icy water seems to invite you in. However, the wires dangling just above the water's surface, circulating with volts of electrical currents, creates an obvious challenge. A brief team discussion decides who is going to go first and who will help whom, when, and where. Your teammates have completed the obstacle now and are waiting for you on the other side to assist you out of the pit. You dive head first into the frigid water, trying to keep your body submerged as far as possible away from the electrical wires dangling only inches above you. The water is so cold you feel your fingers and toes numbing as you push forward towards your teammates through the obstacle known as the electrical eel. This is at your local Tough Mudder event. Smothered and covered isn't just a reference for your hash browns at Waffle House. It's a perfect explanation for the partakers participating in a Tough Mudder event, even as you can assume from the preceding scenario. By the end of the event, each and every individual is just that, smothered and covered in mud. Now, I know what you're thinking. What is a Tough Mudder? How and why do these people get this way? What's in it for them? Is there more to the story than just an outlandish and outrageous slew of folks torturing themselves through ludicrous obstacles? Allow me to alleviate some of your questions and concerns. While Facebook calls it probably the toughest event on the planet, and my beloved friend Avery declares it made me want to crawl home to my mommy, the website, however, puts it into a more realistic perspective, affirming that the Tough Mudder events are hardcore 10 to 12 mile obstacle courses designed by the British Special Forces to test your all around strength, stamina, mental grit, and camaraderie. A challenge is a bit of an understatement when referring to most of these obstacles. Electric shock, freezing waters, fire, small spaces, steep muddy slopes, are just a few of the barriers one must overcome through the Tough Mudder event. Take the Devil's Beard obstacle, for instance. A large cargo net is fastened to the ground so that mudders must crawl under it through the mud without getting caught in the net. The weight of the cargo net is also so intense that it takes multiple mutters working together to lift it up and to move through it. Did I also mention that this obstacle was located on a muddy hillside? Another obstacle is the boa constrictor, which involves a series of pipes that are submerged in the water, filling them almost to the top so that a mutter is only allowed a very small space to slither through. The space allotted is so confining that one must use their arms to pull them through. As you can see, these obstacles are designed to test not only one's physical abilities, but also their mental capabilities as well. A Tough Mudder forces you to confront your fears and to overcome them. The Tough Mudder is not your typical regime where you train to run, swim, or bike in a straight line for a certain length of time or for a defined distance. You should know, however, that you are not alone in this encounter and that your teammates will be right there with you to help you all along the way. Many times, inappropriately dressed in very entertaining costumes, might I add, Tough Mudder boasts that the following is demanding excursion contests that are met at the finish line with a headband, a high five, and a cold beer, with a live band to liven up the experience. <clears throat> I believe I may have skipped a page. Maybe not. Okay. <coughs> we, have addressed, <coughs> we have addressed what the event is. However, I'm sure you're still wondering why anyone in their right mind 
would subject themselves to such a race, per se. Let's just take a second to realize that a Tough Mudder is not a race. It's a challenge. It's a challenge that is defined as something that stimulates one to engage in, yet not an impossible act to achieve. How many times in life do we struggle with hardships only to come out on the other side with a strong feeling of triumph? A Tough Mudder gives its contestants a feeling of accomplishment like no other. This appetite for accomplishment is why Tough Mudder it has challenged over half a million individuals with numbers continually growing at a rapid stride. The experience of Tough Mudder allows its participants to rely on one another for assistance and to encourage uh, throughout the event from the beginning to the end and beyond, establishing bonds as well as a sense of unity and camaraderie. The camaraderie can be seen on the Facebook and Twitter pages for the event where patrons and soon-to-be patrons alike support and inspire others. The quotes, the greatest accomplishment is not in never failing, but in rising against after you fall, Vince Lombardi, as well as experience is a question of instinct about life, Oscar Wilde, are just a few that are listed on the social network. However, words are not the only scene of camaraderie and inspiration upon the viewing of any Tough Mudder event. One can see the endearing portrait of partakers aiding to pull, push, carry, and lift others with a helping hand. Serving others is not an unfamiliar notion for the Tough Mudder. The Tough Mudder event is a proud supporter of the Wounded Warrior Project. The webpage states that to date, Tough Mudder participates Participants have raised more than $3 million in support of the warriors that we serve. Every dollar raised to the Tough Mudder by the Tough Mudder event for the Wounded Warrior Project is well spent on programs and services that are offered to injured veterans transitioning from a military branch of service to living in the civilian lifestyle with an injury. Listed on the Tough Mudder website, just a few of the many services offered to the veterans, such as self -relief, stress relief programs, adaptive sports programs, counseling, and employment services. As an incentive to raise money for the Wounded Warrior Project, Tough Mudder hosts a donation program to the participants offering a minute, um, excuse me, a minute refund for anyone who raises $150 or more. Even though a cash money refund is highly enjoyable, this is not the only motivation. Even Tough Mudder event, every Tough Mudder event, a team of wounded warriors that can be seen carrying a wounded warrior project flag through the course is hosted. If this isn't motivation, I'm not sure what is. Although Tough Mudder events are typically are physically, mentally, and demanding challenges, upon completion, they give a sensation of accomplishment that has no substitute. The bonds made during the event last a lifetime and encourage participants to keep pushing even in times of hardship. Seems like all that would be well worth a little dirt and grime. Are you up for the Tough Mudder Challenge? Here. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> awesome. Got one. What are some things that you have to do to prepare for such a physical test such as that that you just <laughs> told us about? <laughs> um, I think every person or group, since it is a group event, has their own preparation. Um, I personally follow a workout regime done by someone who has done the Tough Mudder multiple times. Um, uh, I, it's 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 a routine geared towards what's going to help you in particular obstacles. So, yes, sir. Yeah, I have two questions. Um, where is this usually event takes place, and have you done it? Before? I have not done it yet. I am so ready to do it. I'm going to do it next year. Um, they have different courses throughout the U.S. and it's actually a worldwide thing now. So, it's it's spreading. They're creating more obstacles. They're creating harder obstacles in different locations. Yeah. Uh, how did you learn about the? Um, I'm friends with a lot of people in the military, and a lot of the guys have done this, and 
just overhearing people talk about it, and I started doing my own research on it when I heard about it, because that's, I'm always up for a challenge. I'm, I'm always trying to push myself to do something, something different, something better, something more. So through hearing about it through other people, I started doing my own research. There's a uh, run in Raleigh, um, the dirty guys run and the dirty girls run, uh, where they go through the mud like that. They do. They have yes. a lot of the Spartan races, the warrior run, the warrior dash. Um, there's one in Raleigh too. Uh, the Krispy Kreme one. Has anyone heard of that one? You, uh, they give you a box of Krispy Kreme donuts and you have to run a mile without puking. That one sounds... I don't think I'm ready to challenge this. <laughs> don't challenge my stomach. Challenge my body. Yeah. Anyone else? Yes, sir. Are you also interested in CrossFit? I am. I do CrossFit. Um, uh, my degree right now, I'm currently in uh, health and exercise fitness, and um, I'll probably get my level one cert soon. Um, I do enjoy CrossFit, but I like to manipulate it just because this is a whole other discussion for another time, okay. but CrossFit definitely, um, in my personal opinion, it encourages bad form. So, and you, you sit there and you tell someone to do something on a time limit, they're going to they're gonna push as hard as they can. They're not really paying attention to form. So as much as I like to, I love CrossFit. I do tend to manipulate it a little bit, so not to hurt myself or other people that I'm helping. So, anyone else? Thank you for listening. <laughs>